Welcome to the show, everybody. Today, my at-home 60-second health clinic. I'm gonna show you the do-it-yourself test that you can do in the time of a commercial break so you can be more informed about your own body. Now, all these tests can help you, give your doctors the important information they may need to better your health. And I've asked family physician, Dr. Jennifer Cottle, to help me out. You learn a lot of these tests in med school. Thanks for being here. How do you apply them to your daily life? Well, you know, as a family doctor, I do these all the time in the office. And I'm such a fan of people listening to their bodies. I mean, what better to pay attention to what's going on with your own body? So we're going to talk about some great tests that people can do in the grocery store line, when you're at the bank, wherever. It will give you some insight into what's going on. You can bring this back to your doctor, and it might just help some things in terms of your health. So I always say pay attention, you know? It's 60 seconds. doesn't take long. Absolutely. So I want you to look at a simple test that I actually ask my patients to do before any surgery. This is one of the best ways you can tell if someone can survive an operation. Yeah. I'm going to walk you a little bit. Okay. You okay like this? I'm okay. Doctors today are addicted to high technology. Scans, blood tests, genetic testing. Sometimes we ignore the evidence right in front of our eyes. Are you able to touch your toes? Uh, that's, right, that's right, that's right, it's okay, good. Russ Vigiani is a 73-year-old man with shortness of breath and a long history of heart troubles. And then the last test is the test we're gonna do in this stairwell here. Now you're gonna see me puff. I'm puffing already. Are you able to do it? I'm able to do it. Go ahead. The stairwell is an old-fashioned test that my dad taught me. Five, six. All right, stay right there. Yeah. Just count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight, You're, uh, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you're in heart failure. Russ is a difficult case. He's had a previous heart attack, and his heart disease is really advanced. In extreme cases like this, sometimes the only thing you can do is adjusting his medications. So after playing with Russell's medications, we were unsuccessful. We ultimately put a heart pump into him, and he took a lot of rehab, but I'm happy to report that he's doing very well now, so I'm proud of him. <laughs> so you can all walk a flight of stairs just to see what kind of general shape you're in. You can do it right now, and it's, again, what doctors can do, and you can do it on your own. Let's start with a simple heart test you can all do as well. I'm going to ask my audience members to join me and Dr. Caudill on the floor. So let me ask this part of the audience. Come on down. All the energetic ones. Come on down. Look at them. Look at them. They attack. We're all ready. So this is called the sit and reach test. I want you all to have a, have a seat. Get comfortable. All right. Put your feet in front of you. Everyone at home can do this as well. All, right. all you got to do is lean forward and try to touch your toes. Now, if you're over the age of 40 and you cannot lean forward and touch your toes, then it's actually correlated with having stiffer arteries. And if your arteries are stiff, that could be linked to things like heart attacks and strokes. You're doing really well. I'm doing okay. How's our, how are our guests doing? How are y'all doing? Everyone. Oh, no. Not, oh, good. You, you got it. You got two. You get, Very good. Uh, you're not even over Just 40. Just a little bit more. Right. <laughs> you're, you're getting close. Now, what happens... Dr. Caudill, if someone can't touch your toes. Well, you know what? You can work on this. There is hope, so do not fret. You just want to make sure that you stretch every day. You really want to practice, and you can get better at this. So, you know, be hopeful out there. You can do it. You can do it. Now, you'll be surprised how quickly you get limber when you start stretching. And most of us never even try to touch our toes. It makes sense.